Right now at 10, preparing for the worst. Home and schools receive a crucial tool law enforcement can use during an emergency like a school shooting. And a possible presidential primary shakeup. Minnesota Dems want to ditch Super Tuesday and take Iowa's top spot. Plus, the U.S. Supreme Court will hear arguments over the president's student loan debt program. You're watching WKDT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Amy DuPont. According to the Gun Violence Archive, this year alone there have been 611 mass shootings. One of the deadliest was in Uvalde, Texas, where a school shooter killed two teachers and 19 children. The Wisconsin Department of Justice awarded the Holman School District grant money for additional safety tools. As News 8 Now's Dua Isra explains, Holman police can also use the tool, which is available on their phones. Knowing where to turn. We hope that we never have, but um, hope is not our plan. Or in this case, what hallway to take. Figure out how to navigate through there could be a lot easier. Can be the difference between life and death. To have something as interactive as possible and as user friendly as possible, that really shows um, key things. The school district of Holman received $21,000 from the Wisconsin Department of Justice to implement critical incident mapping data. Director of Student safety Matt Myers says with the tool law enforcement and other first responders will have a digital detailed blueprint of each district building that will be particularly helpful for those who might be responding to a situation in one of our buildings and they aren't as familiar with our building first responders will access the maps from their phones laptops and other electronic devices they have everything so satellite views to aerial shots to inside yeah Holman Chief of Police Shane Collins says the interactive maps allow everyone to know the ins and outs of a building. We're not going to be the only ones responding, so it'll be nice that the other agencies can have access to this so they can get there quicker. Collins says while the danger of a school shooting was the main reason Holman applied for the program, it can be used for any emergency. Whether it's a you know emergency, medical emergency, uh, to the most severe critical incident of a school uh, shooting. Collins says this is just another tool in the department's toolbox to make sure students are safe when they come to learn. Reporting in Holman, Duesrar, News 8 Now. The school district of Holman has until 2024 to implement the program. Stu school staff are hoping it's up and running along before that. The Wisconsin Department of Justice gave a total of $2 million in grants for this mapping tool to schools statewide. Well, good evening to all of you. Uh, a little bit warmer today. Temperatures in the 30s for highs, freezing in Eau Claire and Preston, 36 here in La Crosse, and 33 in Baroqua, 37 in Prairie du Chien. Boy, it was a good day to uh, sky watch. We had plenty of blue sky uh, late morning. Then we had some high clouds, what I like to call fish scale uh, clouds. Kind of looks like uh, fish scales up there at the uh, lunch hour. And then a beautiful sunset earlier this evening, thanks to some clouds at times. Uh, look at this shot at about 4 o'clock and then some beautiful colors as that sun dipped below the horizon. And with those clouds in play, you get that uh, light bending and those gorgeous colors. And even uh, after that, uh, kind of a nice scene in the western sky earlier this evening. So some high and mid-level clouds streaming across the area tonight. We'll call it partly cloudy. The moon and some of the brighter stars and planets kind of filtering through at times. Uh, temperatures 30 degrees in Eau Claire, 31 in Sparta, 29 in Baroqua, and 34 here in La Crosse. So not much different from our high temperatures today. Mix of stars and clouds overnight. Not as cold, breezy though. Uh, lows in the 20s to around 30 degrees. Right around 30 here in La Crosse. South winds 10 to 20, gusting to 25. School cast for our Friday. Uh, not nearly as cold as this morning. 31 at 7 a.m., 41 by lunchtime. Afternoon highs around 46 degrees with increasing clouds. Might see a little chance for some light rain or snow showers late tomorrow. Tomorrow or tomorrow night, windy and colder again as well. I'll detail that with my eight-day forecast in just a few minutes. All right. Thank you, Bill. Minnesota Democrats hope a shakeup of the 2024 presidential primary calendar puts Minnesota at the front of the line. The Democratic National Committee will decide this week if Iowa should lose its first-in-the-nation status for its caucuses. Minnesota is making its case to ditch Super Tuesday and vote earlier in the process. So are 16 other states. Minnesota Dems believe it's going to come down to them or Michigan. Current state law does require the Minnesota Republican Party to also agree to move its own primary, and it's unclear right now if the GOP would agree to make the same move. 
The U.S. Supreme Court says it will hear arguments over the president's student loan forgiveness program. The justices will hear those arguments in February with the decision expected by June. Until then, the program will remain blocked. The Biden administration started notifying people approved for the debt forgiveness weeks ago. About 26 million people applied by the time the program was frozen. Governor Tony Evers' administration plans to ask state environment officials again for permission to develop new limits on PFAS in groundwater. Evers' administration controls the DNR, but conservatives control the policy board, and the board adopted limits on PFAS in surface and drinking water earlier this year, but killed the agency's proposal to set groundwater limits amid concerns over costs. The move left well water unregulated. The two groups will meet again on December 14th. DNR officials have not yet said what limits they're considering. A group of prosecutors is asking a judge to toss out a lawsuit challenging Wisconsin's ban on abortions. Democratic Attorney General Josh Call filed the suit in June after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. The reversal reactivated Wisconsin's ban. Now, Call sued to overturn it and named the district attorneys in Dane, Milwaukee, and Sheboygan counties as defendants. Well, today, those DAs filed motions to dismiss the case. They argue Call lacks standing and that the ban is clearly in effect despite statutory statutory revisions. According to an audit of La Crosse's voting machines, they are functional and accurate. Now, these kinds of audits are standard and take place after general elections to verify what the machine counted on Election Day matches the physical ballots. The Wisconsin Elections Commission randomly selects the machines and contests to audit. WEC audited voting machines in the towns of Barry and Burns, the village of Rockland, and four wards in the city of Onalaska. We're hand counting. We're looking at every single ballot. We're matching it up with the tape, you know, to say that these machines aren't accurate, counting that they're coded wrong. I mean, today we're here to prove to you that these machines are accurate and they count the way they're supposed to. The audit covered four races, four Wisconsin governor, attorney general, secretary of state and the state assembly. The races were also randomly selected by the WEC. The Gunderson Health System and Bellum Health System merger is officially complete. As News 8 Now reported, the merger will give Bellum and Gunderson more access to resources in their respective service areas. Patients now have access to care at 11 hospitals and more than 100 clinic locations in Wisconsin, Upper Michigan, and southeastern Minnesota. The Gunderson CEO says the merger brings out the best of both health systems. We're not the exact same systems and that we can find strengths in many ways that we don't have that they do, and we can combine those and learn from each other and get better faster. Neither health system will change logo. Mount Lacrosse is going to open for the season this weekend and under new ownership. Local investment group Walloon Industries, which is owned by the local Mathy family, acquired Mount Lacrosse on November 30th. Leadership and operations will remain unchanged. Yeah, we're super excited um, for Mount Lacrosse and, and what it means to the community. Um, basically, what it means by having a local family, um, a local family company purchase Mount Lacrosse is that this gem is going to be in our community for a long time to come. Built in 1959, Mount Lacrosse is home to 19 trails for skiers and snowboarders of all abilities. We posted more information about the opening weekend on news8000.com. Still to come, Congress steps in to stop a possible rail strike and some union leaders are not happy with the deal. And later, put a holiday swing in your step with a weekend jazz concert in one of Lacrosse's newest music venues. Taco John's family pack in a pound is not just for families. It's also the chillin' with the crew pack in a pound. For just 19 bucks, this deal's tough to beat, no matter who you call family. The family pack in a pound, only at Taco John's. Papa Murphy's presents How to Change the Way You Pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. Step three, chow down on the deliciousness. Order the limited time Hog Heaven Pizza for just $12.99 at papamurphys.com. Winter is here. And with winter weather come accidents and mishaps. Whether you're on your way to work, walking the dog, or out on the trail, accidents can happen. That's why we have insurance, to help with the unexpected accidents that are not your fault. At Bygoff and Rody, we'll help you get the insurance settlement you deserve to pay your medical bills, your lost wages, and get your life back on track. If you're injured, call us. Call Bygoff and Rody. 
Birthdays are something to celebrate, and our News 8 This Morning team highlight them every day. If someone you know is turning 8 or 88, submit a picture of them at News8000.com today. Look Who's 8, brought to you locally by Pediatric Dentistry of Onalaska. Little teeth, big smiles. Feliz Navidad. Light up the season with Nachos Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero. From the bottom of our hearts, happy holidays from Taco John's. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. A national rail strike has been avoided after Congress steps in. But as Dan Lieberman explains, some union workers are not happy with the results. The joint resolution is passed. With that vote in the Senate, Congress is sending a bill to President Biden's desk that will avert a nationwide rail strike in the middle of the holiday season. Avoid the rail strike, keep the rails running, keep things moving. The bill binds the rail companies to a deal that the White House helped negotiate in September, which four of the 12 unions later rejected. It prevents 115,000 railway workers from walking off the job, which could have cost the economy $2 billion a day. 15 Republicans voted against the deal, arguing Congress shouldn't meddle in a labor negotiation. I'm not going to vote to impose an agreement that the workers have explicitly voted on and explicitly rejected. The deal includes 24% raises over five years and some bonus payments, but does not include the seven days of paid sick leave. It's unfortunate that this happened, and uh, we're going to continue to fight the sick leave issue uh, outside of contract. A measure that would have given rail workers sick days failed to reach the 60 votes needed in the Senate after only six Republicans voted yes. They are one of the few industries in America today that have zero sick paid leave. President Biden says he'll sign the bill as soon as it hits his desk and vowed to keep fighting for sick leave. Dan Lieberman, CBS News. President Biden says he wants to work on paid sick leave, not just for the rail workers, but for all Americans. Still ahead, a Winona team needs you to stuff the trailer for young musicians, plus a black tie event to help support work programs for people of all abilities. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. A bit milder tomorrow, but enjoy, you while, enjoy, it, enjoy it while you can. Easy for me to say. Uh, I'll have the full details in my eight-day forecast after the break. Black Friday deals all month long during our huge Thanksgiving sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible prices, plus get 30% off on top of that store-wide. And don't forget, mattress shopping is easy, fast, and comfortable at Slumberland Furniture. To everyone who loves great food, let us make you a meal the Wisconsin way. We cook each butter burger to order for you and the people you love, so it's the best part of your day. The best. The best. And every creamy scoop of fresh frozen custard, pure happiness. Pure happiness. Pure happiness. Because where Culver's comes from, and the heart of America's Dairyland. Our love. Our love for fresh food is as strong as our love for all of you. <laughs> from Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. delicious. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us, now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. The gift of relaxation and pampering is the perfect gift to give this holiday season. It is the Sue Colvies experience, the gift your special someone is really hoping for, and the gift she really deserves. Order your gift cards online today at SueColvies.com or pick them up at Sue Colvies Salon and Day Spa because she deserves the very best. Papa Murphy's presents How to Change the Way You Pizza. Step one, carefully knead dough. Step two, artfully spread sauce. Step three, add fresh mozzarella and assemble toppings. Step four, realize we already did all that for you. So all you have to do is bake it. For a limited time, get the Hog Heaven Pizza with Canadian bacon, ground sausage, and crispy bacon for just $12.99. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. 
Looking at mattresses? <laughs> Buying a mattress can be uncomfortable. That's why Slumberland has modernized the process. Right now, get 30% off select mattresses, like this Sealy Posturepedic mattress for $5.99. Slumberland, mattress shopping reinvented. Visitors to our showrooms often say, I had no idea this place was so big with so many product displays. Stop by and wander through our eight buildings. See what you would love to do for your next home improvement. Winona area businesses are giving kids a Christmas to remember. A funeral home and real estate team are asking you to help stuff the trailer for the Winona Little Warriors drumline. That group brings kids, many from low income families together to learn music and be a part of a team. And it was just a way to kind of bring kids together and give them something to be involved in while teaching them to play the drums um, and just to be a part of something bigger. Organizers are asking for donations of toys for Christmas presents. They also need household items like cleaning supplies, towels, and toilet paper. If you'd like to help, the team is collecting donations this Sunday from 1 until 3 at the Hoff Celebration of Life Center parking lot. We'll post more information on news8000.com. With so many local nonprofits to choose from, deciding where to spend your money and time can be a little overwhelming. Great Rivers United Way, UWL, Viterbo, and Western teamed up to launch a page that lists the seasonal requests of area nonprofits. YouGetConnected.org is available year round and has a holiday helpers and wish list page for more time specific needs. The intent again this year is to give people one stop shopping um, for opportunities to volunteer in our community over the holidays. It's the season of gifting and gratitude and uh, it's not all about buying gifts. Sometimes it's giving the gift of your time and your talents. Each posting includes an icon that describes the nonprofit's request. Poppy says more than 30 requests have already been posted and more are expected every day. Well, Vark is hosting its first ever New Year's Eve gala. Everyone is invited to attend this black tie event in the waterfront Cargill room. Vark helps clients of all abilities overcome obstacles all year round. Organizers believe the gala is a great way for the community to support the work Vark does while ringing in the new year. It's new for us, but we're very excited. We have a great turnout already and a lot of community support. And again, all of the efforts this year are to support VARC's child and youth programming. Some of the gala funds will help VARC prepare to move to a new location. Tickets are available through December 16th. You'll find more information at news8000.com. And a friendly reminder that News 8 Now's Joy of Sharing Donation Drive is tomorrow at the Onalaska Festival Foods. We are collecting non-perishable food items, new toys, and money for the Hunger Task Force, Toys for Tots, and Salvation Army. So we'd really like it if you could stop by, say hi, and make a donation between 5 tomorrow morning and 6.30 tomorrow evening evening. Well, happy December 1st to you. Happy first day of meteorological winter. Of course, astronomical winter. A few more weeks to go. Uh, with the uh, start of December, though, I thought we would review this past month of November. It was wetter than average and just barely warmer than average. Average temperature 37.7. That's just 0.1 degrees above average. Warmest temperature 76 degrees way back on the second of the month. Coldest temperature was 10 degrees on the 20th. Uh, precipitation 2.06 inches. That's almost a quarter inch above average. And only the second month this year uh, wetter than average. The other one was June. Snowfall 3.2 inches. That's about average. Only two tenths uh, below average for the month. All right. Skies are uh, currently partly cloudy. Kind of some high and mid-level clouds scattered about. 36 was the high today. 12 the morning low. Averages are 38 and 23. 61 and 12 below are the records. And no rain or snow across the region today. Currently 34 degrees out at the airport. Same with the station downtown here. Uh, feels like 23. South winds and picking up again. 18 miles per hour gusts close to 30. Eau Claire, good uh, Thursday evening to you. 30 degrees feels like 21 with south winds at around 11 miles per hour. So not nearly as cold as it was this time last night when uh, we had single digits, teens and 20s. Tonight, most spots in the 20s and 30s, even some 40s across the central plains and over towards St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, locally, 34 in La Crosse, 32 in Winona and Black River Falls, 31 in Sparta, 29 in Viroqua and 33 in Prairie du Chien. Look at the temperature change over the past 24 hours, about 15 to 20 degrees warmer in uh, many spots and that's one reason because the winds are from the south 10 to 20 uh, still gusting 
uh, upwards of 20 to 30 miles per hour, and that is causing some wind chills in the uh, teens and 20s. But compared to last night, when wind chills were on either side of zero, uh, I think we'll take it for the most part. So a lot of cloud cover on the satellite imagery, but most of this is high and mid-level variety. I saw the moon even filtering through earlier this evening. Uh, more clouds will creep into the area later tomorrow as a warm front lifts across the area and then a strong cold front and an area of low pressure. That's going to bring some strong winds tomorrow night and a chance for some light rain or snow showers as well. Now, dry tonight, just some high and mid-level clouds at times. We'll probably see some sunshine tomorrow morning, but clouds thicken in the afternoon. Maybe some snow showers uh, west of Eau Claire by 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Some of those could approach the uh, lacrosse area around 8, 9, maybe 10 o'clock, and then those quickly move out by about midnight or shortly thereafter with a decrease in clouds after that. But again, quite windy tomorrow night. We could see wind gusts upwards of 40 plus miles per hour. And a quick check of the forecast for tomorrow. Uh, mid 40s for highs in many spots. 46 degrees in the cross. Maybe even some upper 40s to near 50 far south. Uh, mid to upper 40s as we head back to the north. Probably lower 40s though for Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. So for tonight, 30 degrees. Mix of stars and clouds. Not as cold, but uh, breezy. So it's going to feel chillier than that. 46 tomorrow. Increasing clouds. That slight chance of light rain or snow shower. Uh, late afternoon or tomorrow evening. Windy and colder tomorrow night. Lows around 13. Breezy and cold Saturday 22. Back in the 30s on Sunday and Monday. Still watching the chance for some snow showers, especially on Monday and Wednesday of next, uh, next week as we drop back into the 20s for highs on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So again, uh, some ups and downs over the next couple of days. I'm gonna, you're going to be out at Joy of Sharing tomorrow. The whole weather team. Derek yeah. will be out there in the morning. Mm -hmm. Eric will be kind of midday and for the noon show. And I'll be in the afternoon and evening. So uh, stop by and say hi. I always get a little worried for the weather team when they're outside and the weather's not perfect. It's going to be <laughs> good enough that people should be <laughs> nice to us tomorrow. Okay, okay. And I, we hope more than anything you're nice to area families by helping us uh, yes. get some stuff. Absolutely. All right, thanks, Phil. Okay. Coming up in sports, the Bucks are getting one of their most important players back tomorrow night. Plus, the Bangor Boys basketball team tipping off for the season tonight against Luther. Rob has the highlights. He's in next. News 8 Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Whether you need routine care or treatment for a complex condition, Mayo Clinic Health System has convenient and safe options for the care you and your family need. Get Cyber Week Hot Buys now at Home Furniture, like this two-piece sectional for just $13.98. All Christmas is 50% off. Plus, get six-year special financing and free shipping. Cyber Week Hot Buys, now at Home Furniture. My favorite time of year is finally here. <laughs> Toyotathon is on. Who's crafty? Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care. That's the value you can expect from Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. Look, it's easy to say things. Anyone can do that. Look closer. Meaning what you say, that's a little harder and a little harder to find. But at U.S. Cellular, when we say you get unlimited data for $29.99 per line, we don't mean only if you get four lines. We mean $29.99 per line, even one. Plus, every plan is price protected for every customer. You have a day before you. Make it the best it can be with Holiday Inn Express and Sweets. How about breakfast to start your day? Coffee, milk, juice, hot food, cold food, brain food. Because you need it for that important meeting in our meeting space. And let's not forget about the afternoon workout to help you keep up with your goals. But your day can't be all work and no play. So you have set aside time for your family in the water. Come make it a day at the Holiday Inn Express and Sweets of Onalaska Lacrosse. My favorite time of year is finally here. <laughs> Toyotathon is on. Who's crafty? Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care. That's the value you can expect from Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. It's the Tempur-Pedic Black Friday event at Home Sleep Express. Get up to $500 off Tempur-Pedic mattress sets and five years 0% interest financing, plus a home $300 shopping card, free delivery, setup, and a 120-night guarantee. The Tempur-Pedic Black Friday event at Home Sleep Express. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. Another big night on the hardwood for our high school squads. We'll open the show in Bangor. The Cardinals tipping off their season tonight at home against Luther. Good crowd on hand at Bangor High School. Cardinals hosting the Knights and Luther coming out red hot in this one. First half, Logan Barr is going to post up the 6'7 junior. 
makes it look easy. Knights go up by six. Then beautiful ball movement from Luther. It ends with a three ball from Cody Miller. Knights open the game on a 9-0 run. Cardinals clawing back though later in the half. Nolan Mitchek, strong drive to the cup, lays it in with the right hand. Still a nine point game at that point. The Knights defense was absolutely suffocating off the steal. Luther on the break. Nathan Riley with the finish off the glass. Knights go up 11. And then it's Barr showing off the range here. He's going to knock down the long two. All Knights tonight in Bangor. They spoil the Cardinals opener 69-53. Luther is now 2-0 on this season. Both Winona State squads in action tonight hosting Mankato State. Let's start with the women. The Warriors undefeated coming into this one. In the third, Emma Carpenter left wide open for three. That cuts the deficit to just seven. But the Mavericks, Stephanie Bursch quiets the crowd here. Count the bucket plus the foul. Then it's Bursch again. This time... A little easier off the glass and in Mavericks cruise to the win, 88 to 69. After the women's game, the men took the floor. Winona State 5-1 on the year. Warriors looking to take down Mankato State. Pick it up first half. Great ball movement by Winona State. And it's Luke Martins getting the crowd in a frenzy. Big time jam right there. But in the second half, here come the Mavericks. Kyrese Willingham knocks down the three. And then it's Trevor Moore following suit here. He couldn't miss tonight. His 6-3 of the ball game. Warriors keep it close. But they come up short 74 to 71. Let's head to Sioux City, the Viterbo women's volleyball team beginning pool play in the NAIA tournament against Columbia. Kenzie Winker with the kill gives the V-Hawks a two-point lead in the first. And then it's Jada Mitchell laying down the hammer. Viterbo goes up three, but the Cougars storm back. Columbia takes the first set by a final of 25 to 22. Let's go to the second set now. Martina McGrath going up high. This shot too hot to handle for the Cougars. V-Hawks take the second set, 25-21, but Columbia takes the next two. The Turbo comes up short in Sioux City, three sets to one. The NBA season is flying by. We're almost a quarter of the way through. The Bucks are one of the best teams in the league. They're 15 and five, second place in the Eastern Conference, and now they're getting one of their most important pieces back after rehabbing off-season wrist surgery. Bucks forward Chris Middleton plans to make his long-awaited return on Friday night in Milwaukee against the Lakers. The three-time All-Star hasn't played since suffering an MCL sprain in the first round of the playoffs last season. The Bucks have fared well so far without Middleton in the lineup. They're 10 games over 500, just two games behind Boston, but this is definitely a boost for Milwaukee moving forward. Well, it was unforgettable month for Packers wideout Christian Watson, and now the rookie's being recognized for it. On, on Thursday, Watson being named NFL Offensive Rookie of the Month for November. And we all remember Watson breaking out in a big way just a couple of weeks ago against Dallas. Three touchdowns in that one. He's found the end zone six times in the last three games. 14 grabs, 289 yards, an incredible month for the rookie wideout. And for Watson, he says he never doubted himself. All he needed was to get healthy. I'm going to keep on pushing to, to continue you know, to strive to be the best version of myself. Uh, I mean, there's no, there's definitely no, um, you know, plateau um, in terms of, you know, my work and my preparation going forward. You know, no, you know, contentness with, you know, where I'm at right now. I'm still, uh, still on the rise. He's playing really comfortable right now. I think it just it takes being able to make a couple of those plays out there to you know be like, okay, I'm, I'm good, I belong here, um, and just have that confidence that you know your teammates trust you to make those plays. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back. I love this mattress. Mm-hmm. So, can I ring you up? We'll take it. Ashley's Black Friday mattress sale is extended. Get fast free shipping on Ashley Sleep Doorbusters. Plus, save $1,000 on select Sealy mattresses only at Ashley. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know it needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. The Treehouse, treasures from the heart. The Treehouse Gifton Home on Alaska, treasures from the heart. Browse our large selection of unique Christmas gifts and decorations, some handcrafted gifts by local artists from right here in the Cooley region. Find that special gift to fully capture what's in your heart. Give your family the gift of shopping with a Treehouse gift card. Come shop the Friends and Family event December 1st through the 3rd. 
Hey, it's Brody from Great River Harley-Davidson. This holiday season, we are dreaming of loud pipes, twisted throttles. So get the rider in your life what they really want this year. Stop by Great River Harley-Davidson and take part in the Harley tradition. Check out the great apparel we have in store from stocking stuffers to riding gear. Then get ready to turn heads next riding season with some new parts and accessories. This holiday season, stop by and see us at Great River Harley-Davidson in on Alaska. Find everything you need to get your projects done at Menards. Skill delivers power and performance with the PowerCore 20 cordless power tool system. It delivers the convenience and portability of cordless tool operation while providing advanced power and torque for the bigger jobs. Every Skill PowerCore 20 battery is interchangeable with all Skill 20-volt power tools. Save big money on our in-stock selection of Skill 20-volt power tools. Plus, give the perfect gift with the Menards gift card. More season's greetings to you all from Menards. You've waited all year for Black Friday. Unbelievable discounts. Hot buys up to 50% off. Plus, 0% interest for 72 months on select Tempur-Pedic mattresses starting at $56 per month. The best Black Friday deals are going on now for a limited time. Only at Ashley. If you need some help getting into the holiday spirit, let these local jazz performers put some pep in your step. When you hear Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Reindeer done as a funk chart with Debbie singing it, it'll, it'll change your whole attitude. The Lacrosse Jazz Orchestra returns to the stage on Saturday with a concert full of holiday classics and tunes with a twist. Now the band hasn't done a Christmas show in a few years and the group's leader decided it was time for a comeback. Well there's been such demand from uh, the community to have that band back doing some of our Christmas charts that are very, very unique, very powerful. Matt Curtis, who is a director and owner of this beautiful center, invited us to do a Christmas show, and so here we are. And this will be one of the venue's first holiday-themed concerts. The Capella Performing Arts Center recently opened in La Crosse's historic First Methodist Epis Episcopal Church. The owner says he didn't have to change too much to make it the perfect space for music. The acoustic here is, is beautiful. It's, it's perfect for you know, choirs and classical music, chamber music, but also jazz and of course with the organ. So we, we really didn't have to do anything to, to make it uh, a performing arts center, an appropriate space for that. Curtis has plenty more planned for the space. If you want to check out the Holly Jazzy Christmas show on Saturday night, it begins at 7. You can buy tickets online or at the box office tomorrow. We'll post this information at news8000.com. We'll be right back. Sure, you're in Stockman Tavasio. We're inviting you to see Santa and his reindeer. Visit Santa and his reindeer at Stockman, Saturday, December 17th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Oh, 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 oh. Stella Jones Corporation has immediate needs for laborers, machine operators, and maintenance technicians. Why do you want to work here? I started at Stella Jones when I was 20 years old, and within six years I become production supervisor. We have employees that make this place feel like a family. Stella Jones isn't just a job, it's a career. I've worked here for 22 years. This is a great place to work for with plenty of benefits and room to move up. Apply today and ask about our $2,500 hiring bonus. Stella Jones, where our people and our products are essential. We are all here to support one another. Hi, I'm Greg. Hi, Hi Greg. Greg. I bought our vacuum at a box store. I was shopping for groceries and I came out with a vacuum. I did the same. I was shopping for clothes. Candles. Kitty litter. Hey group, we're not here to judge. We all made the same mistake before deciding to go to A1 Vacuum to make the right purchase. I'm sorry. A1 Kitty litter. Our business is big. It's time to recline at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Kick back, relax, and enjoy the comfort that comes from your new recliner, sofa, or sectional. Durability and style come together in an amazing selection from our best brands like Lazy Boy, Southern Motion, and Flex Steel. There's no need to wait. Our best-selling styles are in stock and ready for immediate delivery. From the best selection, shop now at Drury's in Fountain. Voted your favorite furniture store. December 2nd, experience the joy of sharing with WKBT. Join us for a one-day special event at Festival Foods in Onalaska. We need your donations of toys, food, and cash for our local Toys for Tots, Hunger Task Force, and Salvation Army. Our community needs our help. Please bring sealed, non-perishable food items, new and unused toys, or make a donation. That's Friday, December 2nd at the Onalaska Festival Foods. 
Sure, you're with Stockman's of Oz Hill. We have toys, toys, and we have toys. Homemade treats, candy, winter apparel. Don't forget your stocking stuffers and so much more. And even Santa buys a tree at Stockman's of Oz Hill. Ho, ho, ho! Not as cold tonight, but breezy lows around 30. Milder tomorrow, 46. Chance of rain and snow showers late in the day or tomorrow night. Turning windy and sharply colder overnight. Lows in the teens and single digits. Highs on Saturday, only around 22. Okay, big weekend. I know you're off tomorrow, so we got to talk about Huge. this now. Jets, Vikings, Amy, it's mm. warm. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you, Joy, sharing tomorrow.